Breaking news right now. An American Eagle plane fills with smoke just after takeoff from O'Hare and is forced to make an emergency landing. Here's a live look at DuPage Airport where SkyWest Flight 2936 made its emergency landing just after 9.30 this morning. Good morning, I'm Marion Kennedy. And I'm Lionel Moyes. Let's get right over to DuPage Airport where CBS News Chelsea Irving has more on that emergency landing for the Iowa-bound flight. Good morning, Chelsea. What are you learning? Good morning, guys. Definitely a dramatic morning for these passengers. You can see right behind me the American Eagle plane. Certainly a bizarre sight to see that size plane here at the DuPage County Airport. It took off from O'Hare at 829 this morning and smoke quickly began to fill the cabin almost immediately within, minute, within minutes. The passengers ended up being on what totaled to be about a 10 minute flight before the emergency landing was forced here at the DuPage County Airport. Although passengers describe it as orderly, it was a terrifying flight for passengers. One passenger on board, Nick Ludwig, pulled out his phone and started recording what was happening inside the plane, as well as interviewing the passenger who was sitting next to him. They say the plane was filling with smoke and a brand new flight attendant, this was her first solo flight, first described that smoke as mist. Flight attendant, Shaniko, uh, bless her heart, it was her first ever flight on her own, and she announces that uh, it was mist. <laughs> Immediately, everyone pretty much started to panic and said, no, this isn't this. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, thankfully, the pilot turned us around and we made an emergency landing at the Page Airport in a matter of uh, minutes, and it's turned out okay. People still got scary, uh, scared, and uh, then we heard that we had seven more minutes till the landing, and that was a very anxious seven minutes. Yeah. What was going through your mind? Just getting this to the to the airstrip and, and hopefully landing. Yeah, same uh, same with me. <laughs> Nick Ludwig again is, took these pictures and video of inside the plane and the passengers and on the tarmac afterwards. Passengers here were quickly taken off the plane and inside the terminal here where we've just learned that they spoke to the flight crew and got some reassurances and some thanks from them. We did speak with passengers as they were finding their luggage and a couple of them described for us what went on. Smoke everywhere. Uh, we could breathe. I mean, at least breathe, but uh, it was a scary experience. I mean, just, just glad to be alive. So. Among the 50 passengers was at least one or one baby. We saw that baby and her mother very frazzled trying to find car seats and obviously a very upsetting situation for all the passengers. They have all for the most part just left here or in the process of boarding buses that we're told will take them to Cedar Rapids. Some obviously because of the proximity to O'Hare have already called friends and family members to come pick them up here. So it's not going to be too long until these people are back on route to their final destinations, whatever that may be. Of course, it's important to note that there were no injuries uh, in this incident and also officials here at the DuPage County Airport tell me that this is a rare sight for them and although very serious and scary some of those passengers, you heard some nervous laughter, and we're hearing that from the airport personnel here as well. Uh, all's well that ends well, but certainly a bizarre and frightening morning for these passengers. Reporting live from the DuPage County Airport in West Chicago, Chelsea Irving, CBS 2 News. All right, what's most important is that everyone's okay. Chelsea, thank you.